Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the Einstar 3D scanner for its initial use. When you get the scanner, it comes with a quick start guide, which is nice. It tells you about the support and what comes in the box and the system requirements. And it just kind of goes step by step. But let's, uh, let's just jump right in here. So, of course, here's the scanner and you want to connect your power supply i've already got this plugged in down there so i'm just going to connect this like that and then the power end goes into their usb cable it's got this nice little protector over there so you just pull that open and then you plug that in and this end here goes into the scanner in the bottom there and all you got to do is just make sure that that red dot is aligned to the front and you just push it in and it's in there when you go to release it don't pull hard on this piece here just pull on this metal collar there and it comes right out so that's it just click it in there and that's good the other end goes the uh, USB cable goes into your laptop into the USB port now all you got to do is you go to support.einstar.com and you probably want to explore around and check out some other stuff on this website but right now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the software so I'm going to click on software download and they give you access to the Google Drive right here you can take the file and just click uh, download when you download it it's going to go into your downloads folder I'm going to double click on that and then we're going to install the software. I'm choosing English. And it's a, it's a wizard just like all the others. You follow the prompts, agree to the terms. Click Next and Install. Now it's installing it for you. This should go pretty quick. When you first run it, they're going to ask you to log in. And if you don't have an account, it's easy to create an account. I already have an account, so when we get this up and running here, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so I'm going to click Finish, and we're going to run the XSTAR program. We are connected, and this is good that the scanner is showing us the blue lights right here. It would indicate red if there's a connection issue. So we're ready to run the software. Okay, here's the login. Now, if you don't want to log in, right here they do have a guest mode. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, now I'm logged in. It's initializing. Now we're on the scan screen here. I'm going to go to this step here where it says calibration. It's initializing the calibration. Okay, great. So when you go to begin the calibration process, it gives you a quick little demo here on what you're going to be doing. But I'm going to close that out and we're going to actually start jumping into the process here. This represents the calibration plate, and it tells you the first one is directly above, straight down. I'm going to hit the center button to start, and I'm going to align the blue dot to the very center of the plate in the software there. So I'm going to back away now. There's a second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Okay, so that one's calibrated now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, it says to go 30 degrees back in this direction here so i got it tilted back pointed at the plate i'm going to hit the center button it says i'm too close so i'm going to back away two three four five bars filled okay good so then now we need to go 30 degrees from this angle here so i'm going to start in a little closer hit the center button on the back okay there's the first one second one third one fourth 
and the fifth. Okay, so then now we want to go 30 degrees the other direction here. Okay, there's the first one, second one. Nope, there we go. I'm just going to go back. Maybe I went too fast. There we go. There's the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So that's that. Okay, now we have one more angle to do. They want you to come at it from this way. And here we go. I'm going to hit the center button. There's the first one, second one, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, great. So that's all calibrated. It says calibration succeeded. It's recommended that you that the board be stored properly. Of course, you want to take good care of that calibration board. Now what we're doing is actually the white balance. So all we do is just flip it over. And then the same thing, come at it straight. 90 degrees here, it says on the center. I'm too close, so I'm going to back away. Oops, there we go. Keep backing away. The bar is going up. That's it. White balance successful. So that's it. You see how quick and easy it is to get it uh, nicely calibrated for you to get good 3D scans. I'm going to get hit next there. And then after you, after this screen, it says it's initializing. But then now you're ready to actually do a scan. So stay tuned. We're going to do some scanning projects. And uh, looking forward to that. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the bell for notifications. And one more thing. Happy 3D scanning.